Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hey everyone and welcome to the seventh episode of Ramadan Coach. Now this is also the last episode and we are going to be talking about Eid. Now as you can also tell, I'm still on my phone, still editing on my phone, filming on my phone because my computer is still not fixed so um, I apologize for any quality issues but hopefully it'll still be okay. Now um, in this episode we're going to be talking about a few sunnahs. Um, there's going to be one sunnah that starts starts from uh, the night before Eid and then a few more that happen on the morning of Eid. Okay, so let's get started with the first sunnah. Now in Islam, the new day basically starts at Maghrib. So as soon as we know that the next day is going to be Eid, we start saying the Takbir of Eid al-Fitri. Now this is different than the Takbir of Eid al-Adha, so don't get confused. I'm only going to give you information about Eid al-Fitri in this video. Okay, so how is the takbir of Eid al-Fitri done? Basically, you are going to say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lilla ilhamd. And what does that mean? That means Allah is the most great, Allah is the most great, none has a right to be worshipped but Allah, Allah is the most great, Allah is the most great, to Allah belongs all praise. Once you've memorized this takbir, you should be saying it continuously. So starting from Maghrib until the next morning when the Imam comes out for Eid prayers, you should be saying it all the time when you're cooking, when you're working, when you're driving, especially driving the next morning to the Eid prayers, you should be saying it. Just keep saying it as much as you can. Okay, so that is the sunnah that starts the night before Eid prayers. Now what happens when you wake up the next morning? Okay, so when you wake up the next morning for Fajr, the other sunnahs that you could be practicing are number one, eat an odd number of dates. You should also take a gusur, which is the religious bath, so major ablution. Another sunnah is to get dressed up for Eid prayers, and also for men, they can perfume themselves, but of course for women, you should dress neatly and nicely, but modestly. Now, of course, the main sunnah for Eid morning is to go to Eid prayers. Now, for Eid prayers, um, our Prophet wasalam, really encouraged everyone to go. So men, women, children, even the women who are menstruating, they are encouraged to go. However, of course, they can't enter the prayer hall, but they can sit outside and still listen to the prayers, still listen to recitations, and also the kutbah. Okay, so you might be wondering how Eid prayers actually are offered. First of all, there's no other, no iqama, and when the imam is reciting, you just listen and then follow through with the movements. Now, the actual prayer is a two raka'at prayer done in congregation, but it's different from the Fajr prayer. In the first raka'at, there are seven takbir, and in the second raka'at, there are five takbir, not including the takbir that you say before each movement. Okay, so let me tell you exactly how the raka'ats are offered. Okay, in the first raka'at, you do the opening takbir with your hands um, up, so takbir and then you put your hands on your chest, right? Um, after that, um, recite the opening du'a, and then the imam starts with the takbir. So he will say, Allahu Akbar, and then you say, Allahu Akbar. Then he says, Allahu Akbar again, and then you say, Allahu Akbar again. So you are just basically um, saying the Allahu Akbar right after he does. Seven times after that, the imam will start, just like any other prayers, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim, and then Surah Al Fatiha, and then the rest of that raka'at is like a normal um, raka'at in salah. Um, once you stand up, for the second raka'at, the imam will again recite takbir and you respond five times. Then he will go through the A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Surah Al Fatiha, and then the rest of the raka'at, just like in the normal salah, until you finish with the salams. Now, once the Eid prayers are finished, basically the whole jama'ah should just sit down and then listen to the kutbah. As a reminder for those of us who don't normally attend kutbah, so that's usually the ladies and the children among us. When the imam is delivering the kutbah, there's absolutely no talking. So just listen to the message of the imam and take in those blessings.
Okay, so once the kutbah has been delivered, there will probably be a flood of people who want to greet you, right? Now, the sunnah greeting that you should be saying on Eid is Taqabbal Allah minna wa minkum. And that means, may Allah accept from us, that means the good deeds, and also from you. So say this to everyone that comes up to you on Eid or wants to wish you a happy Ramadan, say this to them, okay? And if someone says it to you, the response is pretty simple. There's, there's no fixed response, but the easiest easiest one is just to say Amin. Okay, so now the last sunnah that I want to share with you is the sunnah of leaving the place where you had Eid prayers. Now, when our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wanted to go home after Eid prayers, he actually took a different route. So however he went to the place where he had the prayers, he would take a different route back home. So since he did it, we should be practicing that too. Okay, so those were the seven to eight sunnahs that I wanted to share with you for Eid al-Fitri. But before I say goodbye, I still wanted to give you one more reminder. If you have not paid your zakat al-Fitri, remember to do that. If you don't know what that is, you can watch this video right here. But it is something that you should be doing before Eid prayers, not the day of. It's too last minute. Please do it a day before so those funds can be distributed to the needy. Okay, this is a zakat that is attached to the Ramadan fasting. Please do it. Don't neglect it. Okay, I really want to thank you guys and also everyone at aboutislam.net for approaching me to do this series. I actually learned a lot from, you know, the research and also reading the hadith that I did to write the script. So I also learned a lot. I hope that you guys learned a lot. Now don't forget to check out my other videos and also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notifications whenever I post new videos. You can also connect with me through Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, in those accounts, I post um, articles and also pictures for my life um, in addition, of course, to the Islamic reminders. Okay, so I guess that's about it. There's nothing left to say except Eid Mubarak. Taqabbal Allah minna wa minkum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bye.